We've all heard the stories of gold rushes, prospectors rushing to remote areas, hoping to strike it rich. But what if the next gold rush isn't on Earth? What if it's in space? That's the promise of asteroid mining. Asteroids are like giant, flying treasure chests filled with valuable resources. We're talking about precious metals like platinum and gold, used in everything from electronics to jewelry. There's also water, essential for life support and rocket fuel, which is incredibly expensive to send into space from Earth. The amount of resources in asteroids is mind-boggling. Some estimates say a single asteroid could be worth trillions of dollars. This has sparked a new space race, with countries and companies all vying for a piece of the cosmic pie. Asteroid mining could revolutionize our economy. Imagine a future where we're no longer limited by Earth's resources. It sounds like science fiction, but it could soon be a reality. So how do we actually mine an asteroid? It's a complex process with several stages. First, we need to find the right asteroid. This involves using telescopes and spacecraft to identify asteroids rich in the resources we need. Once we've found a promising target, we send a robotic mining spacecraft. This spacecraft would land on the asteroid and begin extracting resources. There are different mining techniques being considered, including drilling, scooping, and even using concentrated sunlight to vaporize and collect materials. After the resources are extracted, they need to be transported back to Earth or used in space. This could involve sending the raw materials back on a spacecraft, or processing them on the asteroid itself to create fuel or building materials. It's a challenging endeavor, but the potential rewards are enormous. The resources extracted from asteroids could fuel our economy, provide materials for space exploration, and even help address resource scarcity on Earth. Space is a harsh and unforgiving environment. Mining in space presents unique challenges that we don't face on Earth. One of the biggest challenges is the lack of gravity. Without gravity, mining equipment needs to be specially designed to stay in place and operate effectively. Then there's the issue of distance. Asteroids are incredibly far away and it takes a long time to travel to and from them. This means missions need to be highly efficient and self-sufficient, as getting help from Earth isn't a quick or easy option. The extreme temperatures in space also pose a challenge. Asteroids can experience scorching heat when exposed to the sun and frigid cold in the shadows. Mining equipment needs to be able to withstand these extreme temperature swings to function properly. Despite these challenges, advancements in robotics, materials science, and space exploration technologies are making asteroid mining increasingly feasible. Asteroids are like time capsules from the early solar system, holding vast amounts of valuable resources. These resources fall into three main categories, metals, volatiles, and water. Metals, particularly platinum group metals like platinum, iridium, and osmium, are highly sought after for their use in electronics, catalysts, and other industrial applications. These metals are rare on Earth but abundant in certain types of asteroids. Volatiles such as nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide are essential for life support and can be used as propellant for spacecraft. These volatiles are locked up in the asteroid's composition and can be extracted through heating or other methods. Water is perhaps the most valuable resource in space. It's essential for human life and can be broken down into hydrogen and oxygen, which are used as rocket fuel. This makes water a key ingredient for establishing a permanent human presence in space. The abundance of these resources in asteroids has the potential to revolutionize our economy and fuel future space exploration. The idea of mining asteroids raises intriguing legal questions. Who owns the resources in space? Can anyone just fly up and start mining? These are complex issues with no easy answers. The 1967 Outer Space Treaty, signed by over 100 countries, forms the basis of international space law. The treaty states that space is not subject to national appropriation by claim of sovereignty. However, it doesn't explicitly address the commercial exploitation of space resources. This ambiguity has led to different interpretations. Some argue that resources belong to whoever extracts them, while others believe they should be shared as a global commons. This debate is likely to intensify as asteroid mining becomes more commercially viable. Several countries have passed national laws regarding space mining, creating a complex and evolving legal landscape. International cooperation and the development of clear legal frameworks are essential to ensure the responsible and equitable development of space resources. Beyond the legal complexities, asteroid mining raises important ethical considerations. One key question is, who should benefit from the vast wealth of space resources? Some argue that space resources should be used to benefit all of humanity, not just a select few corporations or countries. 
They advocate for a system where the profits from asteroid mining are invested in global development, poverty reduction, and environmental protection. Others believe that those who invest the time, money, and risk in developing space mining technologies should be entitled to the rewards. They argue that incentivizing private investment is crucial to driving innovation and making space exploration sustainable. Finding the right balance between private interests and the common good is essential. We need to ensure that the exploration and utilization of space resources are conducted ethically and benefit all of humanity.